and welcome back. My name is the Mac. And welcome to the channel. Right, today I thought we'd start looking at Squad Battles Red Victory, as I was talking in my previous videos when I did the um, Advance of the Reich. This one's called Red Victory. Now, this is a... How should I put it? Not a follow-up, but a, yeah, I guess you could call it a follow-up of the um, Advance of the Reich. As we know, that covers the early part of Barbarossa, and uh, Red Victory covers the um, uh, mid-war to late part of the Barbarossa campaign. So, uh, the as the name Red Victory obviously means uh, that that's when the the Russians took the initiative and started uh, to push the, the Germans out of Russia uh, again, so to speak. So, Red Victory, yeah. So I thought I was going to play a scenario here and um, try one out. So I got to tell you, I um, haven't uh, played this game for a long time. So um, so I, I don't really know any of the scenarios here. So I'm just going to guess I'm just going to pick something and we'll see how it goes. So you can see there's quite a lot here. It's 90 scenarios, I think. Loads. So... Um, yeah, what to play here? Uh, I mean, obviously it covers. Uh, should start up somewhere. Okay, here's February '43. There. I uh, wonder if these are in uh, actual order. February. These are all in February. It's March '43. There. March. July. So any in '42 or they're mostly. I guess those are in the in advance of the high. Yeah, so this one starts off early 43. Yeah, you've got November 44 here. Uh, the Tempelhof, that's obviously when they, the assault on Berlin there. April 45, yeah, so the early ones start here at February 43. What about taking something around Kursk? That could be interesting. That's in June, I think, wasn't it? June something? June, July? Warsaw, you got Warsaw there. What's this? Sherkaskoy. Yeah, that's the uh, the left wing of the fourth Panzer Army there, attacking the southern pincer aimed at Kursk Salem there. Uh, what's this? Um, southern flank of Kursk. July there. Uh, this is the start of Operation Citadel actually. Uh, could be interesting. 25 turns, pretty big. 30 turns there. 18. Uh, maybe this. Uh, poor uh, Poniri. Little Stalingrad at Poniri. That could be interesting. I've never played this. We find it fired up. So, uh, for all you who have, haven't checked my previous videos, uh, Squad Battles is um, one of the smaller t um, level tactical games uh, released in the series. You've got the Squad Battles, you got Panzer Battles, which is quite recent, and you've got Panzer Campaigns. Panzer Campaigns, huge. Uh, I think there's a, it's a kilometer a hex, uh, two hour turn, uh, I mean real time when you play a turn, and you command pretty pretty big uh, forces. Uh, ba Panzer Battles is a bit scaled down, still quite big though, and uh, Squad Battles is uh, platoon sized, and individual soldiers and leaders and uh, company sized forces that you uh, duke it out with. Uh, so well, let's see here. Uh, yeah, what, what does it say here? Poniri. This uh, could be interesting here. Seventh of July, nineteen forty-three. Poniri Station, sixty kilometers north of Kursk. Okay, the northern thrust of the German attack on Kursk salient was undertaken by the Ninth Army. The main axis uh, of the advance was the railway link Orel and Kursk. The village of Poniri was a particularly important objective uh, on this uh, on this axis. Naturally, the Poniri village and surroundings were heavily fortified. The area was defended with a well-entrenched division of the Soviet 13th, 13th Army under General Pukov. The Poniri village itself was defended by the elements of the 307th uh, Rifle Division commanded by General Eshin. The 307th uh, Rifle Division's strong defense line was bolstered by well-placed anti-tank guns and dug in T-34s from the 27th Tank Regiment. Uh, there's more. The German spearhead reached the Poniri line 5th of July. The German uh, 
attacks of the 292nd uh, and 86th and 78th Infantry Division slowly carved into the Russian defenses. On 7th July, um, forward elements of the 292 Division V. Cluj reached the town center of Pinori. The Cluj ordered an immediate attack on the railway station, which seemed to be the cornerstone of the Russian resistance. German infantry, supported by Sturm pioneers and tanks, including Ferdinand's from the Panzerjäger Abendlum 653, launched a heavy assault on the station. Wow, that sounds pretty. So it's a German attack mission here. Or try the Russian as a defense. I'll be playing the uh, the Germans a lot. Uh, maybe I should try uh, try out the Russians here. This, this, this could be fun. Let's try that out. Boom, it's fired up. All right, so Axis could be automatic with the fog of war. Still, uh, same interface here. This game, actually, Red Victory, is released, I think, seven years after the, the advance of the Reich. So there's lots of uh, small improvements here, but the option rules are still the same, though. But uh, they have, the game evolved a bit uh, when they released uh, different titles during that time. Uh, I'm just going to lead them off for now. So we'll do it like that. So try the Russian South. All right, why not? So I guess I'm going to be defending here. Whoa, here we go. Right, so uh, obviously the Germans go first here, and they're opening up some pretty heavy barrages here. Yeah, it looks like a heavy barrage here. That was a hit right there. All right, some more rounds coming in there. So the map doesn't look that big. Wow, it's pretty extensive, the minefield up here. All right, more rounds coming in here. Sounds like uh, Nerval workers. Or maybe just heavy RT. Oh, we lost, lost the cash there. Right, here comes the infantry here. Charging up here. Looks like he's got a bunch of tanks up there. Maybe he had Ferdinand's. Set in the description. Alright, so defend mission here. Wow, it's a lot of infantry there. Looks like we got a couple of rounds off there with that anti tank gun. Looks like a very heavily mined and fortified area here. Yeah, so those Ferdinands are going to be hard to take out, especially if they had massive, very thick armor in the front there. Alright, here we go. So, Russian turn here. Uh, turn 1 of 18. Boom. Support exists in the scenario. The scenario has a smoking of 10. Alright, it's good to know. Alright, so you can see here, uh, even though this game's released uh, seven years after Advantage of the Hike, it basically looks the same. <laughs> no uh, real modernization of the graphics here. Um, right, so let's have a look at this. This is the battle situation here. So, pretty small map that's manageable. Right, so he's moving in stuff here. That looks like his whole assault force there. Got some good uh, defenses here, trenches, and objectives there. Lots of, I think these are uh, tank mines, in these big ones here. These could be personnel mines. AP, no, it's armor piercing mines, okay. And this is obviously barbed wire there. We got some booby traps up here. Yeah. Alright, so look at these forces here attacking us here. What's going on here? Wow, look at these. Yeah, these are Ferdinands. These um, these tanks were devastatingly deadly uh, on long ranges. I mean, they could knock anything out. We've got the mighty 88 gun there. Um, 
but the sh the problem with these tanks was that they um, the crew had a very uh, limited visibility and they didn't have any good uh, defense versus uh, infantry like they it lacked machine guns I think maybe some of the later models they actually added machine guns but um, these early ones they didn't have so they were obviously meant to be standing away off somewhere in hidden and just pick off enemy tanks at a long distance but um, moving them pretty close here uh, so they were weak they could easily be uh, salted and or by infantry were hiding they could put anti-tank mines on it blow it up so but um, when it was driving like it's doing here the, the, the front here with the armor was massive I mean not not I think nothing the Russians had at this time can actually penetrate that frontal armor Maybe close range, but uh, not at uh, long range. It was such heavy armor, this, this tank here. Right, so he's got a Ferdinand there. We've got another one up there, I can see. What's this? Right, he got some Stugs there. Stug, Stug 3Gs. Uh, pretty standard assault guns there, and tank killers. So he's got a Stug there. He's got another one there. I don't know, there's three of them there. Uh, what's he moving in the north here? Uh, looks like he's moving up some pioneers here. We got saddle charges, they got smoke grenades. Looks like three platoons there. Even more, I think. Four platoons, yeah. What's he got here? He's got a leader there in the rifle squad. He's got a bunch of infantry here. Um, yeah. Loads of engineers for clearing all these uh, saddle charges. Squads here. Right. Loads of guys. Because guys with flamethrowers there as well. So what do I have here? Let's have a look. Up here in the north I got nine guys. They're fixed. Alright, so these guys are going to hold off this massive attack here. Well, hope they can do it. What do we got in this trench here? We do have a machine gun here. And a uh, bunch of guys in the leader. We have another machine gun here, those Maxims. What do we got here? We got an anti tank gun? 76mm anti tank gun, yeah. Under crude, okay, so we, we took a casualty here, I guess. So, um, that 76 could take these um, Stugs out at these ranges. Could have a problem with this. Alright, what do we got here? Anti tank rifles, uh, Molotov cocktails. Some machine gun squad there. Right, we'll, we got in the back here. Got a leader there, squads. Not that heavily defended though. We've got another anti tank gun here. Right, what's down in the south here? Got some guys here. That's my radio there. Might as well just check what we can call in here. Right, we got some light. Uh, howitzers here, 76 mm howitzers. We've got three missions on that and two of that. So why not just go ahead and call that artillery support immediately? But we do have some tanks here. This looks like T-34s. Yeah, 76 Cs. Yeah. Uh, not a very good tank there, but uh, I guess that's what we got. Got another one down there. This one is a mobile hull down. It's dug in there. Some guys there, got another one dug in there. What's this? We've got some dudes back here. Uh, motors, 82 millimeter motor crews there. Alright, looking good. Let's have a look at the uh, victory conditions here. Right, so we're taking two casualties already here. Um, you know, Axis got a minor defeat at the moment, so obviously we need to cause as many casualties as we can. And hold the objectives there. All right, interesting. Let's see if we got any reinforcements coming in here scheduled. We do have something here. We do have Russian Su-152. Those are heavy, uh, heavy tanks with 152 millimeter guns. I think. Uh, wow. All right, we got them coming in. So let's hope we get them up there fast. That, they will be devastating for his infantry. Right. So look at some of the visibilities here. I guess we can sky see. Can't see a lot here. This, these guys can see them. All right. So they can see those tanks there. And the tank gun. Right. Let's just scroll through units and see who can fire here. So uh, let's see here. What we got down here? We 
do have a machine gun set up here and a platoon of soldiers there. A section of soldiers there. Squad, yeah. So they can see uh, he's moving in stuff here. Right, he might as well start opening up. Let's take that machine gun and start opening up here. Right, they got pinned there. Right, these guys can probably fire with their uh, that light machine gun. He's firing back there. They're also firing with their rifles there. That's good. All right, what's next? We do have this T-34 here. Should shoot at his infantry, I think. Are those guys in some... It's a clear hex. It's a hedge there. All right. Yeah, let's just switch to heavy explosives here. And start laying down some fire on these advancing squads here. Let's fire this group of soldiers here. Cost two casualties there. Another two. Let's fire these guys as well. Unknown effect there, but we still have the machine gun fire left. Right, that was some good casualties there. What we got here? We do have a squad of soldiers. Um, we should fire here. Maybe, maybe this cluster is good. Zero. Alright. It's anti tank rifle. I wonder if you can fire that at. Uh... You can. Let's fire with that. Alright, what's next? I've got a squad here. They can spot them up there. So let's fire them. Let's hope for some lucky hits here. Heavy return fire there. Alright, what's next? I do have some squads here. Maybe we can immobilize those tanks with these anti-tank guns, anti-tank rifles. We could maybe shoot the tracks over something. Nope. Let's take the squad here. Let's fire at these infantry. We're taking fire from those tanks there. Right, what's next? This has the tank gun here. It's on the crude, unfortunately. I hope it's got it's got our, our piercing switched on there. Let's fire at the Stokes first. Let's fire at this one here. Right, that was probably a miss. That was a hit, but it didn't penetrate. That was a miss. Right, what do we got here? We do have this machine gun here. Let's lay some lots of fire on this group here. Unknown fire results. So I took the squad here. Let's fire at them. Wow, took a casualty there. Lost a guy in that squad. Or maybe we lost a guy in the machine gun, actually. Hmm. Alright. What's next? Let's take this machine gun here. Lay down some fire here, I guess. Right, take the squad here. Hope we hit something. We do have this leader here. Gotta keep our leaders alive. We do have these mortars here. Yeah, we should definitely lay down some lots of mortar fire on these. Uh, advancing groups here. Let's fire in the center. Maybe we have a higher chance of actually scattering here. Boom. Alright, that guy, that unit got pinned there. That's good. Do have another mortar here. 
82 millimeter. There's loads of groups here. Let's fire at these guys. Not very accurate. Right. We do have another one here. We should lay some fire up here. I keep firing at this cluster here. Cost the casualty there. That one actually hit the booby trap there. Okay. All units have been considered. Okay. So that was all the fire units there. Let's scroll through some uh, movement units. Let's have a look here. There's no point really to move up reinforcements yet. Maybe we should put a squad here. Leave them there. We can actually leave them there. To just leave the stuff for now and uh, because we do have something down here. Maybe they should move up in these trenches here. Let's get them up there. I do have this squad here. I think I should stay. Um, what's the visibility back here? Not the best. Maybe they should move up in those houses there. That's a good spot there. I'm covering this in entrance there. Hmm. Oh, they're in the building actually. Could move them up, I guess. Alright. Let's leave that in there. That's good defense. That unit is pinned. Do I have a leader here? No, I don't. Okay. They could uh, run up and man the, this trench here. Let's do that. Um, these guys, those are my, that's my leader there. It's captain. Leave him there. This T-34 can actually move. Hmm, what's a good spot to put this tank? Let's have a look at the visibilities here. It's dangerous, could be knocked out. What are these woods here? Not that great visibility. Might leave it there for now, actually. Do have a uh, disrupted anti-tank rifle here? Let's leave them in the building. Two men here. It's a sniper team, actually. Um, yeah, let's leave them there for now, I guess. Another T-34 here. Maybe just stop moving that up a bit. Could move it here in that those crossroads there. Let's have it facing the enemy there. Right, we do have uh, this guy can actually try to rally that that, guy, that unit. Minimonium. So they disrupted. Sleeping there. Right, all units considered. Cool. Right. I guess that's all for turn one there. So let's just see. He's gonna be charging these lines here, so um, see what happens here. Let's end the turn. Uh, let's save it as uh, number five. Boom, let's see what it does. Probably more incoming artillery here. Ooh, that hit right in the gun there. Yeah, his artillery can actually clear some of the uh, obstacles. Oh, wow, they're landing right in my trenches there. Alright, cost of casualty there. So hope we get that uh, support artillery fast. Call the artillery. Hope we get it. We're lucky. We we're taking lots of hits in this sector here. I 
backup pin state is there. Wow, even more artillery coming in here. Been lucky so far. I haven't lost that many casualties of these strikes. Oh, that one hit. Right, he's moving. He's moving into these. Uh, I think he actually cleared that. Yeah, he's throwing satchel charges here. He's clearing. He's clearing a way through here. There's even more tanks now. Wow, he's getting close here. Pretty pinned here from all these artillery strikes. Firing here. He's popping the smoke there. Right, Russian turn. Turn two of eighteen. Okay. We did take some casualties there. So look at the uh, quick look at the victory conditions here. Yeah, take four casualties, men losses. More, lost more than 10 guys though. Alright. So, let's have a look here. He's advancing. So we didn't get any artillery. We're still calling the artillery here. Yep, hasn't arrived. Alright, let's just see what we could do here. Defensive fire. Let's put the visibilities on here so we see what we can see here. Okay, we've got a machine gun here. Not the best here. Still can only fire at that squad there. So let's keep firing at them. Alright, let's take this squad here. Okay, we have this tank here. So I can't change facing, that's that's the, um, the bad thing about these being uh, hauled down, mobilized. You can't move the turret. So, um, let's see, do we still have uh, heavy explosives on there? Yep. Alright, so he's got a bunch of, let's fight this group here and get, try to get them pinned. Cost cash team. Cost another one there. I so said the machine gun is actually, I think it's, I think it's a hull machine gun, and so you can only fire in a certain direction here. So you have none of these units you can fire at. Right, so have a look here. We've got the anti tank rifle here. Can't change the armor. No, it's just fire at something here. Maybe this cluster here. Right, no luck there. Let's fire with the closest squad here. Right, cost casualty. Good stuff. All right, we've got another squad here. Let's see what they can fire at. So they can't see any of this. But they can fire up north here. It says, what's it got here? It looks like a normal squad there. I use the satchel charges to clear that. Let's fire at these guys, maybe. Alright, cost the casualty there, that's good. Right, what do we got here? Another squad. Let's keep firing at this, I guess. Because he got range four, and he can't reach anybody. Right, so we do have a pinned and a disrupted unit here. This guy's a pin. That's not so good. 
don't have a leader here. Let's just give, give these guys some fire, I guess. Alright, kill the guy there. Ooh, taking some heavy fire. Whoop, lost the guy there. At the tank rifle. It's not gonna do much against these, but just fire anyways. Let's miss. Was a miss. Alright, the anti tank gun. Got armor piercing on here. Yes, yeah, he's just he's facing me here, so that's it's gonna be hard to try to penetrate these tanks. But let's fire at these stokes. Was a miss. Two misses. Another miss. Alright. Take the machine gun here. Start firing at these guys. Close his men here. Cost a casualty. Another one. Let's fire at this group. Right, zero. Let's take this squad here. Guess you guys gotta hope for a good results. Right, this machine gun here. Hopefully get some of these his units in the, in the pin status here. Right, kill the guy there. Another one. Taking fire there from his tanks. Alright. Right, this squad here can actually... What's he moving in here? It looks like a normal squad there. Motors. Alright, let's try and hit some of these units here. Cost a casualty there. Another one. Two casualties. Wow, that was a good hit. Let's take this. Hit some stuff back here. Right, cost cash tea. Okay, let's take this mortar. Maybe we need some fire in the north here. That was a good hit. Kill the guy. Another one. Zero. All right. So that was all the units. Okay. So look at movement. All right. Do I want to move something here? Um, it seems like he's coming really strong here in the north. Let's see if we can move uh, some of these um, closer to the action here. Let's get him dug in there. Hit the deck like that. I'm not. I don't know. I don't know if he's coming with stuff here. He could be coming with something there. I have no idea. Um, let's just uh, move this. Actually, let's, let's move them up anyways here. I right, took some fire there. What do we got here? Let's just leave them there. Leave the leader there. This is another squad. Yeah, they were going to go into this building here. So let's put them there. Wow, heavy fire there. Let's just leave them there for now. He's pinned. That's my captain there, radio group. Maybe we should stop moving these up a bit, actually. Um, let's see, we might actually need them here in the north. How well are they hidden behind here? It's very dangerous. How much can these guys see here? Yeah, well, it could be a good spot to put those T-34s. Maybe just roll them up behind there, a bit closer to the action. Make it 
face the enemy there. Maybe move this up a bit. Like that. Sniper here. No, that's not the tank rifle team there. That's the sniper team there. Uh, let's just leave them there, I guess. We need some defense in the back there. Alright, so that's all the movement there. Okay. Alright, looking good. Right. So I'm going to end the video here. We're at turn 2 of 18. So this is uh, Squad Battles Red Victory. The, um, from 42, I mean, the early 43 to 45. The Russian comeback, so to speak, after the initial shock of the German invasion there. So looking good. Hope you're enjoying it. This, this looks like a pretty exciting scenario, actually. Um, obviously, this is a pretty powerful German attack here. We've taken lots of heavy hits from the artillery. But um, hoping that uh, artillery also comes in because of the ratings of death of these uh, massive for formations of infantry here, the cosmic casualties. So I want to thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next.